Greetings, everyone. This is CoolCole64 here. So, where we last left off with Oshikiri's stories, Oshikiri had killed his best friend Nakajima over his height growing, and apparently, this caused him to see hallucinations of others' height stretching. The situation got so bad for him that he eventually confessed his crimes, but that was only the tip of the iceberg. For the next story, Bog of the Living Dead, Oshikiri and his friend Kojima were to clean up the swamp behind the school. Despite everyone's warnings to not do this, Kojima ends up falling into the swamp and not being found. Fortunately, this was all a hoax devised by Kojima and Oshikiri for him to pretend to die so that he could get away from his fans. However, when both the committee chairman and vice chairman end up being found dead in the swamp, things are left as a mystery. That is, until Oshikiri is called over to the swamp by two of Kojima's fans, Kazu and Yamiko, who tell him to dive into the swamp to find Kojima's supposed dead body. Oshikiri refuses this and ends up angering the two of them as they release their spirits onto him. He very narrowly escapes his death, never knowing if Kojima actually made it out or not. What strange situations will Oshikiri get himself into? Let's find out. Pen Pals by Junji Ito. Where, where are you? Come on out, show yourself. I know you're hiding around here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell are you? What are you doing in my house? <gasps> I'm, I'm the real, real Toro Oshikiri. Ah! Uh, 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 uh. I've been having really strange dreams lately. These weird, vivid dreams. In truth, it's probably due to this enormous house. I wouldn't be surprised if there really was someone lurking around in the shadows. Speaking of which, there have been times at night when I've caught a glance of my face in the mirror and scared myself half to death. Living all alone in a giant mansion, miles from civilization, can really take a toll on one's sanity. Mother and father are both out of the country for business. I've always quite enjoyed solitude, but even I sometimes become terribly melancholy. When that happens, all I can do is find a girlfriend in the hope that she can console my lonely heart. What to do? This school is lousy with couples, but I wonder, is there a girl who would go out with a midget like me? Ah, shoot. I left my muffler in the classroom. I thought my neck was feeling a little cold. Ugh. She's at it again. She spends all her time after school painting by herself. That's definitely Saitomi from Class E. She's always alone. So she's a solitary girl, huh? Hmm. A solitary beauty. I might have a chance with this one. Huh? That's amazing. It really looks like you. Are you a manga artist? What? You don't have to stop working. Go ahead. Keep painting. You're Satomi from E-Class, right? My name's Oshikiri. You don't say much. Are you always like this? Don't you have any friends? I have friends. I don't think I've ever seen you with anyone else. That's not really your business, is it? Well, I guess not. I have three friends that I exchange letters with. That's more than plenty. We have the same interests, and our values and ideas match up perfectly as well. They're excellent friends. They are so excellent that I have no desire to make friends with anyone at school. Why do I have to go and tell you all of that? 
So you're saying that we can't be friends? Probably. I'm telling you, being with me won't be any fun. I'm not very interesting to talk to. Well, I won't know that for sure unless I try, right? First of all, wouldn't it be embarrassing to be seen walking around together? Oh, so that's how it is. So, I'm too short, huh? I guess it would be a shame to have been seen with you. Pardon my intrusion. Eh? <laughs> well, looks like Yuko contacted Chiharu. Now all four of us know each other. Now then, time to reply. You're always alone too, huh? Yeah, it's been a while. You know, I wasn't talking about your height before. It was a misunderstanding. That wasn't what I meant. People always seem to misunderstand me. When you try to be critical of yourself, it often sounds to the other person like you're really criticizing them. Seems the rambling things I say get taken the wrong way so that people always get offended. Well, that sort of thing happens all the time. It was probably because you were putting yourself down. I bet that kind of miscommunication never happens with letters. No, that's not true. Actually, I'm fighting with two of them now. Fighting? Why? I first met you the other day, right? I wrote about it in my letters to them. And their reply was, were you lying when you said you didn't have any friends at school? They were furious. It's a terrible misunderstanding. Both of them cursed me out in their letters, and I also let myself get heated. Now we're just tearing into each other through the mail. That's awful. What's it to them if you make another friend? What did the other one say? I only just sent them a letter a few days ago, so I haven't heard back. Their letter should come any day now. Satomi, maybe it's time you cut off your correspondence with them. Uh, what are you doing? Did I hit a nerve? No, I smudged it because I'm just getting sick of drawing my own face. Oshikiri, you should model for me. My next painting will be of you. Uh, me? Turn a little bit to the side. Yes, just like that. So, when we're finished for the day, I was thinking we could go hang out at your house. There's no one to come to at my place. Both of my parents are staying abroad. Is that a no? We're a lot alike, you and I. My parents are out of town for work, too. They're still in the country, but... What kind of people are your pen pals anyway? I've never met them, so I don't even know what they look like. Their names are Yuko, Miki, and Chiharu. So this is your house, huh? It's beautiful. Totally different from my place. So it came after all. The last one. What's it say? <laughs> it's terrible. Even Chaharu could write something like this. Satomi, what the hell is wrong with these people? My god, they're nuts. Oh, Shikiri, I'm sorry, but could you please leave? I have to write a reply to Chaharu. There's no way I'm going to let them write to me like that. Satomi, please, go home! Looks like that girl finally lost something precious to her. Her lonely heart really relied on the friendship of those three pen pals. However, it appears they weren't real friends after all. Ah! Ah, shit. I forgot my muffler again. Gah! Sorry, Satomi.
Thank you.